Hello and welcome to another episode. Today we are going to discuss about how to build a WordPress theme. So we'll develop a very basic WordPress theme from scratch. Here you can see I have installed a local WordPress here and this is the boilerplate of the HTML. Only you need four files header footer function index and uh, css for sorry five files so you can see uh, these files are here and nothing is written in this particular theme so we are adding one function wp head this function is important for um, calling the header related information and here we are adding wp hyphen footer then these two files are working as header and footer now you can see still there is nothing displayed okay so we are going to uh, create the theme file from the scratch Here we in the index file we have added get header function for adding the header section and get footer function get underscore footer function for adding the footer function. Now in the index file you can see some code are showing in the code view. Look at this this hello world is displayed from our theme. So it is a complete brand new theme. these informations are coming from header and footer okay our fab icons are showing here now we are going to add the logo for in the function for adding the logo we are using some tag custom logo function so let's see generally you get an an option in the back end for uploading the logo in the customization section so that logo we are going to display this for that we need to um, add this tag add support custom logo it's an array height and width is given so after adding this function and the function file now we are creating a header section and inside this we are using the tag the custom logo as a result the logo is showing right now so we have the logo file showing on the header section now we want to show the description in the blog description we are storing one the blog description inside a variable dollar bt underscore description you can give it any name so we are showing this description here using echo now the description is showing this is the tag your block tag now we are uh, we can adjust this tag related information here there are other option available for showing the tag uh, I am using this option like declaring a variable and storing the data in the variable and equaling that variable simple now we are going to create a custom navigation, very simple custom navigation. Uh, saving this header file. For adding a navigation menu, that is the main navigation menu, you have to register it in the function .php file. So we are going to show how to do this. Here in the logo, we are adding a homepage link. 
now when I, we are clicking the home page it is showing the uh, home page echo home underscore url is the tag for adding the link hrf will display the home page link now we are adding the navigation under the nav we are using a ul align unlist uh, unordered list so this is the function wp nav hyphen menu wp hyphen nav hyphen menu it is an array and it is showing the logo logo the menu location and the menu id these two information are passed in through this array and now this array will show the navigation we are just formatting this uh, for clean code okay now let's see what is displayed here yes our navigation is showing we have two page about and contact now we want to use a description summary tag html tag for a very simple drop down you can see this example here okay so we are going to copy this information here and uh, just in the summary section we are adding the menu and we are placing this nav in information inside the description as a result uh, it will create a drop down menu responsive menu very simple now we want to display and now we we have not created any style related code yet we are going to format this code a little bit now in this understand this code it has the logo file description menu that's it in the header section we are adding nothing additional and it is also displayed in the source view now we are going to um, work on the post section or footer section okay this is a very basic development wordpress theme development for clarifying the understanding okay so that when you are working on a wordpress site especially in any case of customization work you are more confident about the file structure and how they works okay now in the footer section we are adding our uh, copyright related information and now this copyright information is showing now let's move to the index section we want to use a loop for showing the uh, post item little bit of editing in the in the index dot php file we are going to add a loop and it will be a, a php loop so we are adding if have post underscore post is a function display uh, the conditions are if is underscore home we are checking whether the blog has some post and whether this page is a home page or not and then we are displaying in this loop it is showing the post title 
and using a loop it is showing uh, the post content so we'll need to do a little bit of modification in this code and we'll try to understand it step by step so it is a while loop it, it is showing nothing right now so we need to do some modification here we don't need this hello world anymore now we have the con temp template part has few um, sections like content non content page content search so in the content navigation we are adding an article tag inside article we are adding a header section and inside the header section we are uh, and a footer section as well so inside the header section we place the block title and in the middle we are using a div and inside the div we'll show the content okay this is our plan so this will require this article id um, and class are dynamic in the header section we are using a if else condition just you can search the wordpress template documentation from wordpress.org here in the function section you will see there are set of some set of functions available so we are going to copy this set of functions to our function file put into our theme name we are changing the uh, parameters a little bit and you can see add support rss so we have already added this add support rss then navigation register we have already registered a navigation here and then there is a language related tag post thumbnail related that we have added post thumbnail related tag it will allow adding feature post to uh, these are the list of post type so post thumbnail allows you adding a feature image to your blog post and we are also allowing these five type of uh, post type a side gallery code image and video these are additional tags that are enables now we will adjust a little bit few lines are repeated so we are going to remove them automatic feed links is repeated so we are going to remove remove automatic feed link as well this part is also repeating now our function is showing an error uh, due to this if else condition so we are going to uh, uh, make this correction this debug i think it is uh, due to a curly braces so function page function.php is most important part of a classic wordpress theme even a actually nowadays wordpress themes are divided into two type one is block type another is uh, classic so we are working on classic in future we will create a blog post on block type theme so here we are uh, checking various type of function related documentation and according to this we have added the code in our new theme so it is this particular tag is essential for the initial setup of the theme 
okay now we need to modify a little bit our index file in place of index file we want to make it very simple for showing the uh, code we are not making it very fancy our main goal is to understand the structure of a wordpress theme so at present we have created the header footer and menu section now we are working on uh, creating the post list okay so these are the major files in a wordpress theme like home and their priority home tag author ar archive image and these are optional so here is a very simple uh, structure of a classical theme the get sidebar get header and this is the block type of theme block you are adding component html component and here you are adding php tags so there is the difference this is the simple um, style sheet that uh, that is necessary for any block and then look at the all theme files and you can see the list of theme files available here like the theme files hierarchy here is a very good illustration available about theme file hierarchies and this hierarchy decide which file will show uh, first during the page loading which file has more priority okay for example, you have an index file in a home.php home file, in that case, home.php file will be uploaded first. In block theme setup, it is a little bit different than the classic uh, theme. And the theme function file is same, but here you, uh, you add the component. And these, uh, these are like here the CSS is using some sort of variable when in classic you can also use these are HTML comments using these HTML comments you can show the header section footer section and uh, you can get option for customizing these uh, sections using the theme editor so it is still in the beta state so we are working on the classic here the css file is based on json values so you can customize this json value for customizing the look and feel even if you want to change some color for the padding all those are based on json okay so in block theme json is playing the key role for uh, the structure of the theme and customization of the theme so gutenberg plugin and uh, if you activate uh, gutenberg gutenberg is default right now so uh, the, if your theme support the block templates then this will work but we are going to we are working on the classical theme and in the classical theme you can see the major files are very limited and here is an index file sample file from this index sample file you can see there is a custom tag available for the title page title so we are copying this custom tag and going to paste it in our uh, header section here in the title we are adding the dynamic tag now it will show the website name dynamically on the header and here we are also copying the current car set that means character set and placing it here in the utf8 okay now it is dynamic character set. then you can see this document is changed to the website name the website name is 00 test 002 test so guys we are creating a very basic theme 
here the blog info description tag is enough for showing the description and blog name so we'll replace our uh, description related tag for making the code a little shorter so remove this and place it like this so this is going to make our code more less just testing yes it is showing two times we are removing the next paragraph you can see our header is very small just 30 lines of code now we are going to display the post using this if loop if have post while have post the post so let's place this in the index section we have created we have added a very complex loop here we are making it a little simple and uh, just for now we are going to check how it is working the title content page link so this loop is very simple for showing the post we are copying this whole loop and placing it uh, in this index file for now and let's see what is the results saving this refresh the page okay our posts are showing right now but the post has no link so we'll need to work on the post individual post page and the post link okay so moving forward and right now our pages are working fine home page is working fine showing the latest post so we are going to work on how to create single page for each post okay so here you can see the documentation uh, discussing about the style sheet and index page code uh, we are going to apply the code relevant code for single page single page this is how you can use some image from the theme file get parent theme underscore file so we can use that file for our logo but we are not going to use this right now our main goal is to create a simple single post page Here is the post template and in the post template you can see single.php page. So we are copying this single.php page. Uh, this is the file that will guide the post. So we are creating one PHP file called single.php. Now in this single.php we are going to copy that whole code for displaying a single post and paste simple. Now this will display the single post with next uh, navigation. Okay now this is our documentation about the classical theme okay let's see how this single post is working
you know that uh, these tags the these template tags are very important when you are developing a custom uh, wordpress thing how uh, you need to understand how what is the use of the content function uh, the content function shows the post content wp link underscore pages and uh, edit is a is a custom link for editing this page so we are going to paste a uh, paste the hyperlink on the post title here in the post title is showing in each three but no hyperlink so we are going to add a hyperlink on uh, the post uh, for on the title so for that the function is get underscore permalink so get underscore permalink is the tag for the url okay so we are going to use a, a anchor tag on the title so this we are going we are going to divide this code using some php tag and placing this conditional link now we want to see and there is a link available but it is uh, linking to the comment section okay we need a link to the single page section okay we'll fix this no problem just removing this tag and now saving it the second line is removed but still going to the comment section the pages are working fine and home page is working fine we need to work a little bit more on the single page so we have already created the single page uh, just need to debug a little and uh, there is a meta information the meta information is not showing I need to change the team name but it is not going to work I think it is it is going to uh, making no difference okay no problem we are removing this code it very simple okay we need uh, the single page template integration only let's move to our single page code mm. this is the loop for showing the post and this is the condition when there is no post so we have already used this in our next page our single post very simple clicking on this yes the single post is now showing but no header and footer okay no problem we can add the header and footer and so for let's move to the, this is the single post 
and we are adding the header and footer function from the index page. For footer, this tag is okay. We are adding the footer, and for header, only the get header function is okay. So we are placing this save, and now if we uh, now when we are clicking the single post it is showing the detail and also the pages are working so in our theme a single page and a, an informative page all are working fine this is our simple theme wordpress theme now we want to show a feature image on each post so how to do this remember we have set some post thumbnail so we are going to use this post thumbnail and uh, let's see what is the documentation available for this so here is the category page uh, template we are not going to create a category page right now only post and pages You can also get other documentations for like archive page here the url is developer.wordpress.org slash theme slash basic slash loop yeah. Here we will get the code uh, that is necessary for the single post. If we replace this code using this sample code, what happened? Is there any major difference? Let's see. Uh, it is just showing the comment page. So we need to work on this code. It is not showing the main content. Undo this. And uh, save it. We want to show the image, the feature image. So find out the tag for the feature image. It is post thumbnail ID. So here we will find this code. Scroll up a little and uh, this section is for the post navigation. We are going to use this post navigation in our simple page just before the while tag and placing the next and previous link. And now refreshing this page. Yes, we have the next previous link available. We can customize it to using CSS, but we are working on the PHP part only. Yes. This is the code view. We need uh, the image tags. So we can see the major pages uh, files of our team. The header footer function index single we don't need the page content and because we have not used this so we are deleting the whole folder this is the minimum wordpress thing header footer function index single okay only five small php files And 
our team is working fine. Next previous button is working fine. These posts are showing clean only title and the content. We can do many customization but at least we understood the basics. Thank you for watching. See you guys in another episode.